I think that everything in the world is connected even though it doesn't look like that all the time. When I was really little, we would drive by the factories and there'd always be smoke and exhaust coming out of the chimneys. I always thought that they were cloud machines. But then when my parents explained to me, no, that's bad for the earth, then I started seeing more things that were bad for the earth. My younger sisters also had me start thinking about the future and the future generations and how our choices affect them in the long run. Grandmother Frances, said Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein, she's always full of surprises. So... Two of the choices I've made, I became a vegetarian and I try to eat as locally as possible. This cuts down on my carbon footprint because the local food doesn't have to be shipped as far and it's fresher and you're supporting local farmers. Eating locally helps the farmers because they're giving them business and they don't have to pay for shipping and packaging just so they can send their produce somewhere else. From working at the farmer's market, I've really gotten to know a lot of the local farmers because I've been working there since I was eight. My favorite memory of working at the farmer's market is when this blind lady walked up and she picked up an apple and she said, is this an apple? And I said, yes, it is. She said, is it red? And I said, yeah. She said, well, it feels very beautiful. I'll take a bushel. And then she kept going up and down the produce stand doing that with different fruits and vegetables. It really touched me how she didn't need to see something to believe it was there. It's a lot like climate change, actually. We can't just deny all the evidence that climate change is there just because we can't see it. One of the impacts of climate change that we can see is extreme weather patterns, like we'll go from a drought to flooding. We are having those huge floods in Iowa. Buildings are putting up sandbags and the streets were all always wet. Floods do really affect what food is available because it can either ruin a crop or cause a farmer to not be able to get to market. Another choice I've made is to never give up, and I learned that through acting. With acting, it's really hard because you're not always going to get a part the first time you try. I probably auditioned 10 or 11 times, and then finally I got in. Even if she does pass, I don't think she can handle the grind of studying to be a teacher. Anyway, Gilbert would have So I've tried using that in all aspects of my life whether it's trying to get extra credit on an assignment or trying to stop climate change. Because if you keep trying over and over again, someone will listen to you. I'm really glad I learned to never give up at a young age because now it's helping me help stop climate change. DNR stands for Department of Natural Resources and they're basically in charge of trying to make sure that everywhere in Iowa that we're being good and environmentally friendly. I first petitioned the DNR to lower CO2 emissions by 6% per year, which is the number you know, that scientists agree is needed to help stop climate change. One of you to be courageous and to think of your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, the future generations yet to come, and think what kind of earth what kind of place you want to leave for them to call home? I felt really bad when they denied the petition and then they denied the appeal after that because that was them basically saying that my generation and the generation after that and so on does not have the right to a livable future. I would ask the judges to think about their children or their children's children and think about how this decision is going to affect them. We've all been so focused on what can I do, but now I think we need to open it up to what can the community do. 
What can we all do? What can the government do? We all shared the same sky. Everything that we do doesn't only affect us, but it affects everyone else. And if we don't stop to think about what we're doing to not only ourselves, but to everyone else, then we're just as bad as the cloud factories. I love performing. I love playing music with my friends. I love my sisters and my family very much. My name is Gloria Day, I am 13 years old and I am many things.